Kansas mental health counselors say they are dealing with a crisis. The state is cutting funding while the need for care is going up. Jake Peterson shows us how one group is changing how counselors and patients meet. Well, Krista, the waiting list to see a counselor at some community mental health centers is two months long. Counselors say making people wait for help could mean the difference between life or death. So they're expanding a vital program without the state's help. The looming winter weather means a headache for most of us, but for Lois Hone, it means much more. This time of year for me, I go through a kind of a seasonal affective disorder. It's a problem she needs professional help for. She doesn't get her treatment at a clinic, rather it's at a neighborhood church. I have met other people with similar problems, and that's been really important to me. Mental Health America started the free depression sessions at area churches two years ago. Once a week, the groups meet and talk about how to deal with symptoms of depression and suicide. Director Susan Crane Lewis says they noticed the need once the recession hit. When you've been laid off from your job and you no longer have health insurance, you may not be able to just Go get help. She says unemployed patients are overloading area free clinics, so the wait times can be weeks long. That's a very, very long time with, with any illness, and certainly with the illness of depression, um, which too often leads to suicide. These church based groups fill the gaps while people wait for openings at the free clinics. Crane Lewis says they're adding more churches to the program because the need will increase the further we get into winter. As for Hone, she says her groups taught her to cheer up during the holidays. A therapeutic message for anyone in need of some help. And the National Alliance on Mental Illness says programs in Kansas have seen budgets slashed by about 12% since 2009. Kansas is ranked among the highest in the nation to cut mental health spending. Jake Peterson, NBC Action News.